everyone, welcome back to It's A Hard Crohn's Life. Now, I don't know about you, but it is freezing cold where I live right now. I know, obviously, some of you that watch me are from America, so you're probably sitting in the nice warm sun thinking, no, it's not cold where I live, but it's freezing cold here. And I've got thinking about how my Crohn's or colitis affects me different times of the year. And it really does make a difference. So when I very first got ill, I would make a diary of the different times I flared up or when I was ill or when I felt particularly exhausted, all different things like that, just to see if there was any sort of connection. And it always, always came out that I was always in a flare in November. And obviously we're in November now. So that's why I thought I would talk about it because I wonder if anyone else has experienced the same thing where they get to a certain time of year and it makes their Crohn's worse than others. Now, I have no idea why this could be. Why could it be that it's cold outside so we end up flaring up? I really don't understand why it could be. Now, the only reason I think it could be down to is in the summer, we're getting lots of natural vitamin D, which we don't get in the winter. So I did a little bit of research on inflammation and vitamin D, and the amount of things that come up of people that have took higher doses of vitamin D, and they've noticed that their Crohn's symptoms have gone down. So it must have something to do with that. There must be some sort of link to do with vitamin D, and inflammation. I've realised how many times I've actually said the word vitamin D in this last sentence, but I'm not going to say it anymore, okay? But that's, that's the theory I've come up with anyway. I mean, have you noticed this as well? Am I the only one that's actually noticed that it's actually worse in the winter? Or is there a certain month that you've always noticed that you've flared up more? I'd be intrigued to know this, because if that's the case, then there's obviously something that could be done at this different time to help. Now, I feel like all I'm doing is rambling now, but it's because it all comes down to the fact that in the summer, we're more happier, everything is more lighthearted, and every just everything just feels just so much better, doesn't it, in the summer than in the winter. We've got the, late, the early nights where it gets dark early, and everything's a little bit more getting up in the morning, it's dark, you know, you come home from work and it's dark. And then these, all of all things that obviously affect our our bodies and the way we feel naturally as well. That must have something to do with it as well. The fact that we're happier in ourselves. So anyway, I've got halfway through doing my video and what's ended up happening is the sun's come through, the phone's gone weird, it's all gone wrong, my battery went low. Literally everything to stop me doing the video is what happened. But I'm not letting it stop me. I'm not letting it stop me doing my video. I only had two minutes left to do on the end, so I'm gonna finish it. I will finish it today. So, as I was saying, before I got rudely interrupted by the phone, was what I would suggest doing, if you don't already, is take a vitamin D supplement. Just start taking it. Just try it and see if you notice an improvement because you might be pleasantly surprised. And also, if you don't already do this, I would suggest getting a diary of, um, a lot of people do food diaries, things like that, but I would suggest doing a diary of when certain incidents happen, i.e. when you have a bad day, when you have a flare up, when you feel extra exhausted. Just make a little diary and just a little note of how you're feeling on that day and just see if there is any sort of link with this i.e. a different time of the month, anything like that, just to see, because if that's the case, then you could end up preventing this before it actually happens. So anyway, that's the end of my video for today. I do apologise for the most boring backdrop I have for the end of this video, but I will hopefully get it sorted for the next one. And I also apologise if you are a new subscriber and this has also happened because it makes me look so unprofessional. But anyway, content's still there, so that is the main thing. 
So anyway, I'm gonna go now, but thank you all so much for your lovely messages that I am always receiving. It's very nice to know that you are all listening and are keeping in touch with, with not only just me, but with each other. It's like we're like a little crony family. That makes us sound like a cult, doesn't it? A crony family, but you know what I mean. Anyway, but if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of my helpful tips with Crohn's and colitis, then do subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. It gives me a good indication that you're liking these sort of videos. And if that's the case, then I can always do more. So thank you all for listening and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>